Hey guys, I'm here with Aiden today. Hey guys. And we're gonna do a catch and cook with gag grouper. So today's recipe was found completely by surprise. Unfortunately, uh, the original recipe I had, I can't do because we don't have the right ingredients. I looked around at what was available and came up with something pretty good. Are you ready to cook? Yep. All right, catch you later, bye. On this day, the weather was perfect and I decided to hit up Freedom Boat Club's John's Pass Marina. From there, it didn't take very long to reach one of my favorite dive locations, and the water was amazing. The wrecks here were about 45 feet down and covered in fish. And even though some were easy targets, I was after bigger and better game. I dove down on some structure I saw in the distance, hoping a gag group would be hiding there. Not seeing anything, I moved on to the next piece of structure. With gag groupers, I've noticed that you have a very small window once they see you before they take off. I've always found it easier to meet them on their level and catch them by surprise. I had to cook and fillet the grouper on two separate days. Either life events or work took precedence and I was just too tired to do the whole thing in one shot. Luckily fish keep for three months once frozen. Grouper are one of those few fish that I try and get as much meat off of as possible. The ribs, backbone, skin, cheeks, and especially the throat. And here we have all the edible parts of the gag grouper. Yes, even the skin. So with the recipe I discovered, I'm gonna make a cream mixture using heavy whipping cream, Parmesan cheese, thyme, and of course my favorite, Himalayan pink salt mixture, as well as some shiitake mushrooms and butter. I'm also gonna try a secondary, more kid-friendly recipe using orange juice, ketchup, sesame seed, sesame oil, brown sugar, and some soy sauce. But yesterday we tried rotini, and today we're gonna try Bow ties. All right, Aiden, so while we're waiting for the pasta to boil, we're gonna go ahead and put the cream into the saucepan. Go ahead and put it in. How many? The whole thing. All right, perfect. There we go. Now we're gonna wait for these two things to start boiling. After the heavy cream has come to a boil, reduce the heat to low and add two tablespoons of butter. And now we're gonna get the mushrooms ready for the cream sauce. A little bit of oil and some butter. And then of course, Himalayan pink salt mixture. Once the mushrooms look good to you, go ahead and lower the heat and pour the cream mixture in. <laughs> pour the cream mixture. Leaving the mixture on low heat will allow the sauce to thicken flavor to spread. Oh yeah, don't forget to add the thyme. Here I'm scoring the fillets in a crosshatch pattern. In order to let the salt mixture get deeper into the meat, flavoring it better. Make sure you have a really hot pan in order to lightly sear all sides of the fillets in order to lock in the flavor and a little bit of moisture before the next part. Now we take the seared fillets, throw them in the oven, which is set to broil on high. three minutes and then flip. While the fish are broiling, go ahead and add the Parmesan cheese to the mixture. If you want to measure it out, I'd say about two tablespoons. Make sure you stir the cheese in there. Keep the heat on low. The sauce will continue to reduce. For one of the plays, I'm going to start spooning the orange sauce mixture onto it. The sesame seeds on top. What we're going to do is we're going to move the, uh, the rack up closer to the broiler. We've got the fillets right next to the flame at the top. We're gonna throw it in for another three minutes and that should be good. <laughs> and here
here we have two different styles of grouper prepared. This one is the orange sauce with roasted sesame. For Veronica, we've got the cr reduced cream and mushroom mixture. Now, time for the taste test. You want to try the uh, orange sauce one too? Just a little bit. <laughs> it's not going to be a real taste test unless okay, you try it. I love it. Now, if it's bad, be honest, because this is the first time trying it. It's good. It's weird. It's bar like barbecue. But it's not bad. It's good. But it's like, I don't know. It's like the taste is weird because. So is that an approved? Thumbs up. All right. All right. You're <laughs> free to eat now. <laughs> Yay! I'm so hungry. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>